You've seen the thumbnail, you know what I'm making. I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a baked ziti. Now, come on in here, take a look at this right here. Look, these are my ingredients, and I'm gonna go ahead. I've already started, you know, heating up my, you know, I use a wok, you guys can use a regular, you know, pan or whatever. But for me, I just put a little heat in this, and I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna put no oil or nothing like that, because look, this is that sweet, you know, that sweet sausage, right? So it's gonna have enough, if I can get it out. We'll just put that in there, it'll come up to temp. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start browning that. Now, if you guys pay attention right here, I went ahead and preheated my oven to 350 de 50 degrees, right? Now you guys see, what I'm doing is I'm just breaking it up because I want to get maximum exposure on the bottom of the, you know, the wok, right? Again, I'm using a wok, not a pan, but you guys do it however you want to. All I'm doing right now is going ahead and just getting it to brown. All right, so you see it's starting to brown up. This is cool, you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to cook it down just a little bit further, right? But now, as this is going, I'm going to add a little olive oil. Now, this is my infused olive oil made by Branch and Vine. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep with that whole little Italian, see, you know, Italian theme with it. Now I'm going to take my press. I'm getting ready to load it up, you know, with some, some garlic. Now I'm going to just go ahead and give it a, you know, a press. Look at that, folks. Minced garlic in like 10 seconds. Right? Now, get all of this off. We'll just get this in here, let it get some of that heat on it, and start marrying this flavors along, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my little press here to make it just a little bit smaller. So now, I like, I kinda like diced them down a certain size. I'm just making them just a little smaller. You guys know we can always cheat it. You see what I'm doing? This is fine. This is a whole lot more onion than I'ma need but I still just take it, right? And just run through it a couple of passes. I can tell you this, if you get it right the first time, get the right size that you're looking for, you don't have to come with this. This is my little cheat. All right, so look, now we get ready to go ahead, you know, and get our pasta together, right? Check it out. Ziti noodles, water's already hot. We just add it. Let me go ahead and reach across. Grab myself a, you know, wooden spoon. Then what we do is we just move this across like this. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. We're gonna let these and cook these to the instructions that's on the box. We want these to be al dente. All right, so I want you guys to come in and take a look. I know I did it a little backwards this time because a lot of people see me do onions first. Then the last thing I add is my garlic, right? But I really want this to be real garlicky. You know what I mean? To have that without adding all of the different seasoning. You know what I mean? So having minced garlic works just fine, right? So now I want you guys to pay attention. Look right here. All of this, what I set aside right now, this is all what's getting ready to go in there, right? So I got it all right here, and don't forget the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Now, all you gotta do is start adding everything now. Now that my potato, I mean my tomatoes was in, now I'll come with my sauce. Listen, there is no order. I don't wanna fake like it is or nothing like that. You just wanna add them. You know, everything that I showed you that was left, you just wanna add it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and set my heat down here to a medium, because we want to get this back to, you know, boiling, so everything can start getting warm and start marinating itself, right? Marrying itself to each other. We add our water, our seasoning. Okay, so you see that right there? See, that's, that's what I'm looking for, right? Now we're gonna add our bay leaves, right? I'm just gonna push them down like that and let them do their thing. Oh yeah. Next thing we do, we want to put a lid over the top, right? I'll put it over this way, because you can see where it will vent. I'm gonna adjust this so that it'll stay at like a cool little simmer. We're gonna let this go for 30 minutes. Okay, so everything is coming right around, you know, to the to the witching hour, right? So listen, get myself some spray, non-stick spray, right? Go ahead and just spray this. You know, you don't want anything to stick, right? Trust me, folks, make your life a whole lot easier. All right, so now that we have that spray, let me go ahead, take this off right here, put this down. Now I'm just gonna give this a, you know, a nice little stir. I'm loving what I'm seeing, right, folks? Now listen, I'm gonna go ahead and take out, you know, my bay leaves, right? Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead and just start, bring, you know, introducing your ziti, right? Now this was one pound, so all of this got to go in there. Now you guys kinda like figuring out why I used the walk. Right? I just like the fact that 
when you use a walk, you know, with the high sides, it makes it just a little bit more easier. If you guys use a pan, make sure you got enough room, you know, for all your meat and all of your, you know, your ZD pasta. Now we're still under a medium, you know, excuse me, like a medium low, you know, flame, right? You want to get it nice and hot because when we started introducing, you know, our cheese, you want to make sure that it melts properly. And if I hadn't said already, listen, we want to save our, a little bit of that pasta water. That's the secret to getting everything to be creamy, folks. So listen, I have some right here. Whenever I make pasta, I like to keep some, you know, at the ready. So when my cheese starts getting thick, you know what I mean? I just add a little bit of that. And then, you know, that right there is that, like I said, it's the secret to keeping everything creamy. So now look, this is what I do. This is fresh mozzarella, right? So I just take a little bit and just put some in here like that. Listen, it's gonna be, as you can see, it's just the way it breaks up. And when you put it in there like that, it'd be like, like gummy, right? So I just go ahead and take my spoon and just do it like this. You know, it helps it when it melts. You don't wanna make them too big, but we got to the heat, right? So just keep adding this like this. And then we're gonna start giving it a stir, start mixing this in. Then we're gonna come with a little bit of that parm. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a little bit of that parm in here with it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of this parm in here, just like that, not all of it, all right? And then we're just gonna work this in back and forth and we're gonna let that heat do its thing. I just really wanna get it underneath, you know? Once we got it underneath, you see that steam coming off? Don't forget, we still got a fire underneath it. We're just gonna keep moving it, you know, back and forth. Once I see it's down like that, see how it kind of like disappeared? We're gonna let that heat just go ahead and melt. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest. Just start adding that. You remember this? Remember we greased it? That was key. Why? Because I'm getting ready to take this, right? I'm gonna add this in here because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna take it and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in just like that. Remember, we at 350 degrees. We're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and I'll see y'all in just a second, folks. Okay, folks, now after all of that, tell me your brain ain't going, your mouth is not watering. If you do, something ain't right, man. So check it out, here we go. You guys can see it, nice and creamy, it's cheesy. Cheers. I ain't got nothing for you folks. Listen, those of you guys have been lucky enough to eat at the Olive Garden, I don't wanna hear all that, all people be saying, oh, they not good, or you can make it better. This right here is over the top, but it's is a restaurant quality. I just gave you the recipe. You guys try it, let me know down in the comment section below. And let's go, you know, go ahead and open up that conversation. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what, folks? I'm finna go over here, sit down in this chair, kick back, watch a little TV and eat, and I'm out. Peace.